in my opinion, that BCA is always considered as a trade issue, kind of unilateralism and protectionism. And as a major trade partner of EU, China is always against such kind of approaches. And recently, uh, 15 Asia Pacific countries have signed a new agreement, the RCEP, to promote free trade. We can clearly see that countries are making different choices on the future of globalization. So the BCA will be a signal that the EU sent to the rest of the world on their choices. We are now suffering from the COVID-19, so none of us could anticipate this including the EU Commission when they made this BCA proposal. So it's important for the EU to reassess uh, the economic, social and environment uh, impacts of the BCA in the context of economic recovery from the pandemic. And in the climate talks, uh, there are also huge debates on BCA since it is not in line with the UNFCCC principle, common but differentiated responsibility. So I think that somehow the EU has to find a way to accommodate the BCA in the climate regime, including uh, applying ETS approaches. The EU Commission has a very strong political will to deliver this BCA. We really hope that the final proposal could wisely address the concerns from both trade and climate perspectives.